chapter five is organize. And I tell you what, it can be pretty overwhelming when things are unorganized. It's hard to stay focused. It's hard to think straight. So organizing one thing at a time. Last night I did my desk. I know how hard it is to focus when your background is out of whack when somebody's doing a video and it's like nasty in the background. So we're going to look at the desk. Nice and organized. Here's the, here's the chapter. Um, you know, I don't have a quote under this one, but I would say the quote under the title should be um, take it one step at a time, small and slow solutions. Uh, all right. Once organized, life becomes easier. The solution, like many others, can be applied anywhere in life, from your physical space and belongings to your routine and way of thinking. For me, if things are not organized, I feel stressed, but it's not always an obvious stress. It's like a background stressor. If there's physical clutter, there will be mental clutter and vice versa. By the way, one of those background stressors was I had a tablecloth on this table. It's got some stains on it and I had a tablecloth on it. It was all torn up and I didn't realize how much that was stressing me out until I took it off. And you know, I'd rather have a table with some stains than this nasty old beat up tablecloth. <clears throat> Think about all the time you've spent looking for something that you either misplaced or just didn't have a home to begin with. If you add up all of that time, just think about how much more life you would have to do other things. I have collectively spent at least a few months of my life looking for things, and I have to buy new tools because of a lack of organization. That time and money might have paid for a vacation of a lifetime or a great investment elsewhere. Organizing can be a tricky task, so you may have to find a friend who can help. If you know someone who is obsessive, this could be a bonus. If you have a lot of stuff, mind maps can be helpful for organizing thoughts by grouping like elements while considering frequency of use. This is my mind map. The categories are in yellow. The items, the categories are in yellow. The Items often used are blue, and then uh, the seasonal items are green. I try to keep certain categories close together if the items are interchangeable or related. Um, so, like, <clears throat> I have all my like shop tools and things down here in one spot where the tools might be interchanged between the different categories of of work. After getting things organized, if you are a natural mess maker like me, it might help to create a routine maintenance plan or at least a monthly reminder on your calendar to check yourself. Also note that even if you are not a mess maker, it will still unravel because entropy is constantly at work on integrity. So if you go through the next couple of chapters, read through the next couple of chapters before you finish this. I actually need to make an edit in this book for the last sentence in this uh, chapter here, but <clears throat> go ahead and read through the next couple of chapters before you really get into organizing because there'll be some things that take inventory, uh, assess needs and wants, less clutter, more life, the five R's and tool sharing. I think those are all, yeah, those are all pretty much uh, chapters that can help you organize some things. Hope you enjoy. Grab the book if you like it on uh, Amazon. Anywhere online you can get the book or you can order directly from me. Uh, I'll send you one that has not been chewed on by a cat. Uh, I can send you a signed copy straight from me. Love y'all. Thank you. Share. Have a great day.